Hey everybody, it's Craig Bechta from CraigBechta.com. In this video, we're going to talk about the Spider Lens Cal, how to get the sharpest images possible, and I'm going to share some DSLR focus tips with you. So let's get started. All right, let's first talk about the Spider Lens Cal. So if you spend a lot of money on your camera and your lenses, it makes sense to get a calibration device to check the calibration of your lenses. Now I've checked three or four of my lenses now, and some of them have been closer and some have been way off. And I was really surprised by that, but I kind of suspected that because I would use a center focus point when I took my images and sometimes their eye wouldn't be as sharp as I thought it would be. And at first I thought, well, maybe my shutter speed's not fast enough, or maybe I'm not steady enough. Anyway, once I got the calibration device, I realized that my lens was not calibrated properly. So it was forward focusing from the point that I was focusing on. So what the Spider Lens Cal does is you take a shot of the target and if you're forward focusing or back focusing, you can see that. And on the back of your camera, you have a micro adjust feature. Now on the Canon 5D Mark III, you can adjust the telephoto end of a zoom lens as well as the wide angle of the lens. So let's say for example that you're using a 24 to 70 millimeter lens. You would go to 24, set your camera at about two feet, take a shot of the target, and then make your micro adjust adjustment. Then you would go to 70 millimeter, the telephoto end, take another shot and adjust that. So there's a feature on the back of your camera that allows you to do that. Now this works with prime lenses and zoom lenses. And down below I have some recommended distances for different focal lengths as well as the cameras that are supported. So make sure you check that out. So anyway, some other focus tips. Using a tripod is always gonna give you a sharper image. It's just much more stable and steady. Also, if I'm using a larger lens like my 70 to 200, I always shoot at a shutter speed of a minimum of 200, sometimes higher. So those are things to consider. So anyway, let's take a shot of the spider lens cal and then I'll have the image show up on the screen and then you can see what I mean about forward focusing and being on target. And if you're looking for this, I've put some links below in the description as well where you can find the spider lens cal online. All right, let's have a look at some images. All right, so this one is forward focusing. This image is aft or backwards focusing. And this is center focused. All right, so take a second to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the subscribe link right there. To watch Behind the Scenes with Leah, click on the upper right. Behind the Scenes with Ophelia, make it the lower right. All right, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.